the way. So the Hasbro had uh, their Q and A's this week. They do this every time they do a, a reveal. They'll invite some of the, I guess, Star Wars influencers onto a call. There's usually like four or five of them, and they're able to go around for about 40 minutes and ask questions. And some of the highlights that I got, it seems like for next year, 2023, it's going to be a major, um, a, what they call a beat for the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi. So in addition to the Black Series stuff that we're going to get, we're probably going to get a lot of vintage collection stuff. They already announced a bunch of repacks from the vintage collection, which, you know, I was making fun of last week, but there's a couple that I do need for my barge. So I guess I shouldn't make fun of them too much, but it did sound like there's other things that they haven't revealed yet. That's coming for the 40th anniversary. So I'm hoping that they're going to re release VC 66. <laughs> Please. Uh... I um, did see a uh, another hard copy or not a hard copy a first shot of those and I, I really thought about I thought about you up in Cincinnati yeah yeah awesome <laughs> I'm glad I have one I'm, I'm mm -hmm. grateful and thankful um but then some of the conversations were around um, Haslab and Hasbro said if you want something let us know. And so I'm going to try to find a way to signal boost this this segment. I'll probably throw it up on YouTube. And I don't know if I could tag Hasbro in a YouTube video. But still, uh, you know, if I could signal boost this some way and get this in front of Hasbro people. You know, Black Series so far has been 0 for 2, right? There was the, yeah. the Rancor, which didn't go. And mm -hmm. then there was the... um. The, the lightsaber reva's lightsaber which didn't go which i know is different kind of black series because in my mind even though they consider that lightsaber is the black series it's really not because it is a different kind of you don't play with that the same way you would quote play with the action figures it's not like you give that lightsaber to your black series action figure reva you know you become reva with that lightsaber right Whereas, it's more a role play thing. role play exactly yes so you know i'm there's a part of me that's it's selfish, yes, because I am producing this 3D printed cantina and you know I need aliens. So I have a proposal here for a potential dream uh, Black Series HasLab project. But also Hasbro's kind of gone down this road already with their cantina creature, uh, excuse me, the figure and Dan band and the model nodes. You've got your Panda Baba, your uh, Dr. Ezevan, and Obi-Wan Kenobi, which came in that, that three pack with part of the bar. So it's like, you've already kind of gone down this road. So this could be a potential way to boost the offerings in the cantina. And so I threw together some, I threw together some numbers, which could totally be off base. I don't know, but it looks good on paper. So I'm just going to use it and go with it here. Um, and so for the cantina black series dream list here, you know, we've already got Greedo and, and quote, Walrus Man, Dr. Uh, excuse me, Panda Baba, which are two original figures from the Kenner days. So I thought to start off this project, we would have three figures for offering. You would have your Hammerhead, your Moen, Belmanon, what's his name? Anyways, you would have your Hammerhead, which would help finish those vintage figures. You would have your Snaggletooth. And then I thought maybe we'd add a third one, Moth Tax. So you would get three figures for two hundred dollars and that would be like a minimum of nine thousand ordered to, uh -huh. to fund this thing for kind of following what they did with the razor crest uh, excuse me the rain core and that would be about 65 dollars a figure but it is you know you're rolling in the tooling and production costs and stuff like that so i mean at nine thousand that's 1.8 million dollars for hasbro so i would hope that's an attractive number to fund the project in tier two i thought you know, they're big on reusing parts. So you've got those Duros, which is uh, Cad Bane species. You know, they've, they're pointing at each other and arguing. Uh huh. You could reuse boots and legs and hands and heads, and you would just change out the body. Um, so you get two of them, a uh, tier two. And so if that's $1,100, uh, if you back that at 11000 that's $2.2 for Hasbro. 
And then I just started thinking, you know, what else do I want? You've got that devil creature, which the species also appeared in the Mandalorian. So there is some modern tie to that in a way. Mm -hmm. um, if you had the tier three at 13,000, that's $2.6 million for Hasbro. Um, and then I was thinking either you could do Mayo, the one-eyed creature, um, who again was his species appeared in the Mandalorian, uh, voiced by John Leguizamo in that bar scene at the beginning of season two, or the fight scene at the beginning of season two, excuse me. Or you could do Hem Dazon, which is the alien that you first see in the cantina that pops up. He's kind of E.T. in a way where his eyes are kind of towards the side of his head. You know, it's kind of like a V-shaped head. He's the first guy that pops up. Right. And because of that, he's the most identifiable, I would think, because cut to the cantina, boom, his head pops up. Yeah. You know, do either one of those in in at thirteen hundred, um, excuse me, at fifteen hundred, maybe you get three million dollars, Hasbro. Mm -hmm. That's attractive. And then for the last tier, um, you need a bartender and who really wants a a, a fat white guy? I mean He's not attractive, but offer him because this is probably the only way we'll ever get a bartender. Right. You know, I said, throw him in at the 1600, 16,000. That's $3.2 million for Hasbro. If the cost of tooling is about the same as a car, I mean, that's anywhere between 30 to $50,000. I went on the low end with the 30 for eight figures. That's going to cost you about $250,000 for tooling. If you're making $3.2 million, you're getting close to $3 million for that HasLab. And the only thing I would want is um, for them to only have the limit of two per person. So you're not getting the reseller. So in theory, if you order two, you got one to keep packaged, one to open. If you just want to open them, just order the one. Or if you don't want to open them, you know, whatever the case may be. I don't know. That's what my dream HasLab is. I got to see if I can signal boost this some way to get it in front of Hasbro. So at least they can just acknowledge that I heard you. Um, Cause I think going this way might be more successful for the black series than having some massive thing because you know, the tie fighter really didn't sell all that well. You don't see a lot of people talking about the snow speeder, even though it looked gorgeous. It's a challenge to produce these massive vehicles and so either it's environments that you can have as a backdrop for these figures or it's the figures themselves. And if you can't, if you can't make these figures in the main line to, to have like a moth tack, you, you throw that in the main line, you would only get like one of those figures every other year, maybe. So it might take like 15 years to get these figures. So throw them all in a HasLab all at once and say, this is what we want to offer you and see what happens. Listen to the Smuggler's Galaxy podcast every Tuesday, wherever you download your podcast. This is the way.